You are about to see a robot performing the following activities. Monitoring a dedicated folder where invoices are saved in PDF format. Reading invoices from that folder one by one. Extracting key information from the invoices. Opening SAP. Filling in invoice details in SAP. Sending email notifications. Please note that the robot will do some activities in the background, such as most of the invoice-related actions, monitoring a folder or checking its email address. Now let's see it working. Right now, it's monitoring a folder where three invoices are stored and collecting all the information needed so it can register them one by one. It then asks the tester to introduce the email address where the posting notification will be sent and also performs basic checks to see if the SAP is open and runs it on its own if not. Logging into SAP using its credentials, it then starts processing the invoices one by one. We can see it filling in data such as vendor code, invoice date, invoice number, invoice amount, invoice description, and GL account, and ends up by filling the payment term. Following that, it registers the remaining two invoices in the assigned company code. An email containing the SAP registration number is sent automatically by the robot after successfully registering each invoice. Checking in the background, the robot verifies whether the VAT on the invoice matches the one in our database and if so, will post it automatically. Otherwise, it will park it and send a dedicated email to the responsible person highlighting this difference and asking what to do. Post the invoice or to cancel it and send it back to the vendor. All the invoice's details are visible in the email it sends, so let's reply with yes to the message for an invoice with a VAT difference. Finally, it will check its email address in the background, access SAP using the appropriate transaction code, and post the invoice. And that's it. The robot has successfully posted the three invoices in SAP.